Hello and welcome to today's live stream. Uh, we're really excited here at Explanatory Live because the guys over at Ecamm just announced a great new feature that's coming out uh, shortly uh, for Ecamm Live that's going to really change the way we do interviews. Right now we have to use uh, Skype, which means when we uh, need to interview someone on Ecamm, we have to say, hey, can you please install that software that you don't like, Skype? Uh, then you have to go through the process of getting their contact, making them your friend, all that stuff. It's a mess. So we're really excited about this new feature that Ecamm Live just announced that's gonna make this process a lot easier. We're gonna go through it right now, real quick, real quick video. Please check it out right here. Let's just start right now with what's going on here. First, a guest can now call in to your live stream. So you can see here, this is an example of somebody calling in. Now, this is going to be a new window pane that's in your Ecamm Live uh, for interviews, right? And in this window pane, you can see down here at the bottom, it says copy link. So what's going to happen is your live stream will be assigned a link. You can copy that. Then anybody that you want to invite to your live stream, they're going to click on that link, which will take them to a website, much like Chrome is what they're really recommending, or even on their phone. Can you believe that? So they don't even need Ecamm Live, a license or anything. They can just click on the link, boom, they can watch the live show. Now, when they click on this link, they're also going to see all the comments here on the right-hand side, which is great. And also, they're going to be able to see themselves in the camera. they got to give permissions. Uh, it would be good when they do click on that link to remind them to close their YouTube window or whatever they're watching the live stream so there's no feedback in audio. What the guys are really trying to do here is replace that YouTube audio uh, interface that uh, people that are being interviewed, uh, you know, so this can do everything that YouTube can do. So they can see the chat, they can see the live show, they can see themselves, it replaces Skype. Oh, it's just awesome sauce. So what happens then is once they click on that link, they're going to get sent into your live stream, into a guest calling in. So you're going to see them uh, coming in to your uh, live stream. And once they're there, you can actually put them into what they're calling a green room. <laughs> so this is, this is really great, right? Uh, we've seen this on some other software, but this is now uh, really the best option, I believe, uh, all-around option for streaming on a Mac. Uh, and you can test it out. There's a link below that gives you a free trial. But uh, this actual feature will be available October 1st in a, in a beta version. But you can check it out. So here, once they're in the green room, you can add them as a solo. So it's just them on the screen. You can add them to the left of you. You can add them to the right of you. You can assign them a position. We'll get into that shortly. Again, this is just a quick video, but we'll get into that. But basically, when they're in the green room, their audio is off. So you're not going to hear them on your live show, but you can uh, manage your guests there. Also, you can adjust the naming and uh, etc., which is pretty cool. Uh, now, when you assign a guest, It'll give you this option here where you can do guest one, guest two, guest three, guest four. And there's something new here called a placeholder. And we'll, I'll show you that shortly here too. And then you can also return them to the green room. So what is a placeholder? Well, a placeholder is what you see here. So let's say you set up your live stream ahead of time. You can set your placeholders on the right or left. Uh, in each of your scenes, so this would be scene two, as soon as that guest calls in, they're assigned and boom, they're gonna be taken to that scene. Guys, this is, this is really great and I'm really excited uh, for this new feature. Uh, also, what's neat, uh, because this is not being sent uh, you know, directly to the cloud, it does give you some flexibility with your guests. For example, you can change the background if they're on a green screen this kind of reminds me of what goes on in a newsroom, right? You know, they, they bring these people in, put them on a green screen. It's the control room. It's you that has the control uh, for that person that's being interviewed. Um, again, like you also have this other feature here 
which is called share screen. So even your guests can come in and they can share their screen. It's really, really great uh, the way that works too. So uh, just a lot of flexibility. Now, you're gonna notice something here too in the interview screen that says you have 24 hours of interview time remaining. What, is, what does that mean? What is that about? Is there like a, some type of limit? Well, again, you're using uh, their, their, their services to send your uh, guests up to uh, their servers. So they don't want you live streaming 24 seven with guests 24 seven. But 24 hours is plenty of time uh, for your guests and for your uh, live streams. Um, let's, let's go over some of those hourly budgets just real quick, just so there's no confusion. Let's look at it here. So if you are a monthly, let's say a monthly subscriber, right? Uh, again, you're going to want to get the pro, pro plan to do this, to have these options. So when you have the pro, pro plan, <laughs> you will automatically get this feature of being able to interview. Uh, but anyway, with the pro plan, if you're a monthly subscriber, you get 20 hours uh, of interview airtime per month. But if you are a yearly subscriber, which I would imagine most of us are, right? Um, yearly subscribers would get the uh, 25 hours or 250 hours for the entire year. So uh, again, it's very uh, unlikely that you're ever going <laughs> to, excuse my handwriting, that you'll ever get over these uh, limits unless you're doing 24 hour uh, live streams. If you do need more time, you happen to need more time, you can also purchase more time from Ecamm Live to get that going. If you have the standard version of Ecamm, uh, you will get uh, two hours to do this. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm using the desk uh, to do this because my handwriting is not even legible. I'm very sorry for that. It doesn't really work. <laughs> But, uh, but anyway, so there's some other points here too. You can host up to four guests at a time. So that could be five people on the screen because uh, four guests, including the host. Also, you can, um, you can show comments uh, from you know, the live stream just like you would before. Also, they added a feature where the text can now animate in and animate out uh, on the screen which means uh, maybe you've seen it like in uh, StreamYard or in Zoom where somebody calls in, boom, it shows their name. Well, now uh, Ecamm Live does that too. So it's really cool. Also, a neat feature that I thought was pretty cool was that if some one of your guests does have Ecamm Live, they can actually use Ecamm Live as a virtual cam and call in to your live show. So that gives them more you know, flexibility on that side too. But again, the key points here is that guests do not need Ecamm Live. They do not need any applications. They do not need Skype, which should be abolished and destroyed. I mean, put in the comments below if you agree with me on that. And uh, yeah, and just uh, again, remind, remind your viewers that they need to shut down their YouTube uh, stream that they're watching if somebody is calling in so they don't get that uh, sound of uh, reverb also. It'll affect their internet latency uh, because they're using two streams. Whereas Ecamm Live, the website, uh, like we showed right here, is actually going to be doing everything that they would normally see on a YouTube Live feed. So it's, this is really great, guys. I think this is a game changer. This is um, really going to help a lot of people that are using other softwares like Streamlabs to just focus on Ecamm Live, which is really what all of us Mac users, again, this is a Mac-only application, really want to do. We love Ecamm Live, and we really thank you guys uh, for listening to the feedback of the community and making this feature available. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this show at all, please subscribe. Please like the video. 
And as always, we have a free blueprint worksheet that is available at our website, explanatorylive.com worksheet. This worksheet will help you with your live shows, put them together, figure out what are the best topics, figure out the formats for your live shows, etc. And it's all free. And if you made it this far in the video, I just want to give you a heads up again. Uh, let's go back to this <laughs> desk cam. Again, excuse the writing here. This is a stream deck. I have three more of these and we are giving these away to one of our subscribers. Uh, and that'll be happening in the next uh, month and a half. So if you do it now, you will be entered into that. But again, we'll have more details on that. But again, thank you for joining us and we'll catch you in the next video.